What's up? It's your boy Mark back once again. And I don't even know what day it is. Uh, but we're currently uh, under lockdown because of the COVID 19 virus. And uh, I am hoping that uh, everyone is safe. While they are watching this, all right. So I'm pretty bored right now. Yeah. So what we'll do right now is we'll check out, uh, or I'll show you the bikes in my garage. So recently, I've just discovered. That I really love having more cycles. Doesn't matter what kind of more cycle it is. As long as it's a more cycle and I can ride it and it's in a good working condition, I want to have it. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. I, I, but no, you know, I'm serious about the. Uh, I'm serious about um, loving bikes. I mean. I'm pretty new to the riding community. Been uh, riding for the last uh, three years. Uh, going on my fourth year. And, well, I have aspired uh, to have cool bikes. And uh, with the grace of God, working hard, I was blessed. So, uh, here's uh, my first bike, my first ever motorcycle. Uh, this is a scooter, a Yamaha uh, Mio Soul I125. This is the one that's been the longest with me. Uh, three years counting, uh, going to four years. Um, this bike is pretty reliable, man. I mean, it's 125 cc, no frills, no no tech, no no ABS, no nothing. Just plain, uh, plain, uh, plain old motorcycle. <laughs> but this has been my trusty steed for the last uh, three years and a half. We've been to a. Uh, Different places, man. We travel a lot with this bike. Um, if I'm not mistaken, odometer on this one is about um, 19,000 kilometers and counting. Uh, and I've driven this bike uh, to most of my long rides um, last year I drove to Baler uh, that's in Aurora province up north about 600 or so kilometers round trip um, and uh, Marinduque uh, Marin Duque is um, uh, an island uh, down the south side of uh, Luzon. By the way, I'm uh, from Santa Rosa Laguna, which is uh, a, a few hours away from uh, the main, or uh, from the capital, Manila, in the Philippines. And. Um, Man, this has been a trusty steed. Uh, it haven't really given me any problem. Usual wear and tear uh, for a three, uh, three and a half years old bike. Um, like um, the cable for the speedometer, uh, the drive belt, clutch lining, those kind of stuff. Uh, that I replaced. And this is my 
second bite. Um, I acquired this uh, a few months, or last month actually, February 8th or 9th, if, if I can recall it. Um, so I put in about uh, less than a thousand kilometers in this one, uh, 980 kilometers. So I decided that I wanted to get an uh, expressway legal bike. Um, I was offering for 400, but uh, when I was at the Kawasaki dealer, um, I talked to uh, Sir Kokoi, uh, one of the sales assistants, and I asked him what's uh, a good beginner bike. So he told me that, that this one is a very, very good uh, beginner bike. Uh, it's going to give you power uh, if you require it. But uh, this is uh, nimble and um, responsive enough and forgiving too when it comes to, um, to mistakes that you might be doing when shifting so uh by the way this is a kawasaki uh z650 naked uh street bike so uh, i had a bike drop uh, a few weeks back just right before our girl the corona virus quarantine happened i ordered parts unfortunately because of the situation I haven't gotten the parts yet. Um, I think I'm running on the fifth week that it's uh, that I have been ridden this bike. Well, three weeks waiting. Well, I think uh, two weeks for the parts, waiting for the parts. Then the lockdown happened about two and a half weeks ago. So. Uh, yeah, roughly. And this is my most recent purchase. Um, this is the CPI uh, DTR150. It's being distributed by Bristol. I got this uh, just a week before the lockdown. So this looks like an enduro type bike. Um, CPI, by the way, is the brand of the bike. It's a Taiwanese, uh, Taiwan-based bike. Um, actually, got this for cheap. Um, brand new, twenty-five thousand pesos. Uh, when it came out of the warehouse or the dealership, we have those scuff marks that you can see there. But it's okay. I mean, for for, for its price, uh, I could not complain. So this one is going to be a base bike for future projects. Um, carbureted engine, uh, 150cc. Um, I actually uh, just right before the the uh, quarantine happened, I did uh, or me and my wife did um, uh, ride. Together, our first ride together actually. Uh, she was driving the uh, Yamaha uh, Mio Soul I, and I was driving the CPI DTR 150. And for this, it been uh, would be Tagaytay. Uh, that's just a few kilometers away from where we live here in Santa Rosa. So Pretty much, uh, this bike, uh, I mean, there's a lot, a few things that I would like to modify or improve on this bike. Um, but the great thing is that, um, since I got this for cheap, and I, I, I have a little bit of spare for um, the modifications. Um, so there you go. Basically, the front is a very enduro looking setup uh, with a little bit of classic on the back. 
So there's probably a couple of things that I would improve on on this bike. Uh, yeah. So most likely, um, I will be featuring this bike once in a while uh, if I would get my hands on some uh, uh, upgrades uh, after the quarantine period. Uh, I mean, I'm not rushing it as it is. It, it's pretty cool looking and um, pretty fun to ride. Alright, so there you go, guys. Um, my uh, That's what's in my garage as of the moment. And I uh, hope uh, that you like my videos. If you do, please hit the like button uh if you feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bells for future videos all right so this is your boy mark saying peace i'm out